Add Excel Core Pure Complex Numbers 1 Introduction. Looking at adding and subtracting complex numbers. Let's consider the imaginary numbers root minus 16 and root minus 20. So root minus 16 using laws of cert is root 16 times root minus 1. Root 16 is 4, and the standard way of writing the square root of minus 1 from now on is i. So that is the way we write the square root of minus 16 using the imaginary number i. If we look at the square root of minus 20, again we can use our laws of cert to write it as root 20 times root minus 1. Root 20, we can write as 2 root 5. And the standard way now of writing the square root of minus 1 is i. So numbers now can be entirely real. So they're all the numbers you met before the introduction of complex numbers. Or they can be imaginary. Or they can have an, a real and an imaginary part. So for example, z equals 2 plus 4i is a complex number which has a real part called 2 and an imaginary part called 4. So now if we look at the addition of these complex numbers, so I don't particularly need to write it with brackets. What I can do is I can collect like terms. So the 2 and 4, the real 2 and the 4 can be collected together as 6. And the imaginary 4i and the minus i can be collected together as plus 3i. So the addition gives me 6 plus 3i. If we look at the subtraction, we could write the answer straight down, but just to be a little bit cautious to start with, I'm going to write it without the brackets. And notice we get a negative plus 5, so that's a negative 5i. And again, we can collect like terms, so the 4 and the minus 3, the real part, gives me 1. And minus 2i minus 5i is minus 7i. So be aware of double negatives, when you, particularly when you're subtracting. And take care when you're collecting your like terms. Remember the real parts can always go together and the imaginary parts can always go, go together. You should always give your answer in the form A plus BI or A minus BI in that order. In the next session, we're going to be looking at multiplying complex numbers.